Hey guys, Punisher here, and I wanted to show you Strexum.tv. Strexum is an all-in-one solution that gives you custom graphics, it gives you your widgets, and it gives you a dashboard to control your live stream all from one website. So stay tuned. Enemy cruiser foundered. All right, guys, this is Strexum TV, and I wanted to show you this. This is how, what you would see when you initially come to the website. And to get connected to it, you just simply connect your Twitch account. Once you connect your Twitch account, it will send you to the home page for your account. This is what it looks like. You see on the left, you have some selections like uh, you're at the home page now, but you have your dashboard, which would be used when you're live streaming. This would be how you would control your stream, much like if you were in Moodbot or Nightbot, which this uses, this is kind of uses Nightbot, by the way, just to let you know. But you also have support. Uh, you have a uh, search database here. You can search the knowledge base. You have Marketplace, which is where you would go and buy overlays or get your initial free one. And then uh, you have a referral program, which is something that you can use that links to your account so that when you know you send it to your social media accounts people you know click on it and then they make their own account it will give you credit for it then also you have uh, strict some social media links here and then a donate thing that will take you uh, to another page where you can select uh, an amount to donate and then it will link it to a PayPal account or to your credit card but anyway so this is my home page Currently, I use two uh, overlays that they have. The one that I'm using currently right now on my OBS is this one called Thrust, okay? And it's designed for first-person shooters. They say it's specific to Call of Duty, but it can be used for anything. Uh, Battlefield, you know, it's pretty generic when it comes to the layout. And there's nothing really specific to Call of Duty other than maybe the color, if they want to say that. But... Uh, it's very easy to do and this is something that's you know strike some offers that you won't find anywhere else So you can go in and you can actually edit this overlay Okay, now you get generic things that you can customize for free such as you can change all this stuff for free You can put your name you can um, You know type all this stuff in this is this all comes free Okay, you can also add like a chat box you can add a you know frame for your webcam at no charge okay now if I wanted to move elements then I would have to pay for it okay and I've done that so I have the ability to put this wherever I want it I could put my uh, frame for my webcam over here you know depending on what kind of game you're playing for instance when I play World of Warships I like to have my camera over here and my chat box here because it, you can see that you can still see the game in the background well this would block any information that would be in the game and so for World of Warships, I have information that's over here that I don't want blocked that, you know, there's an empty spot on the game uh, screen here. So I'll just stick my webcam there. Now, if I'm playing Battlefield, I like to put it over here. So, but it gives me the option to change it back and forth. So you can see it's very simple. You have all these little different widgets that you can customize for free. All right. Now, how do you control them? Okay, well, you control them over here to the right. Okay, for instance, my webcam, I can turn that off if I don't want it. Okay, so there you go, my, my frame has gone away. I could also change the re, uh, resolution size to from 4.3 to 16.9. So, so if you're streaming an HD camera, uh, you have a frame available for free that will allow you to do that. Same thing with the top bar. If I don't want my top bar there, I can get rid of it. Okay, but I can also change the top bar uh, you know as far as going in and typing my name and stuff simply by clicking on it and then you know typing it's very simple uh, settings for social icons for instance you know the left icon which I have currently set to Twitter I can go and I can change it to Facebook okay it's very easy okay this is built for the person that is not graphically uh, gifted okay I'm not a gifted guy with Photoshop I can do basic things but I can't really make something really nice looking I just don't have the experience and knowledge to do so so this is what Strexum does for you it's for guys like me who want something simple that'll give you a nice custom look it doesn't cost a lot of money and 
it looks nice and it works great and it's an you know it's all in one package okay so you have all these customizable things like i said the bottom bar you can change different things you can see here you can change the the center one you can change the right one you have all these different things that strikes them all automatically set up for you once you've done that also for twitch chats you can do the same thing here you can change the different backgrounds okay you can have none okay for a theme you can have the better ttv dark you can see what that looks like i personally preferred the dark because it gives you a, a nice opaque kind of black background that you can actually see through really nicely and it doesn't block anything okay now down here these are all your alert settings you can see here that you could type in you know uh, custom messages if you want to uh, you can uh, disable them you can enable them you can change the color if you want to you can kind of have an animation that changes the way the name uh, appears when the uh, widget pops up uh, you can also change the follower sound you have presets down here that come for free uh, you can uh, actually donate or you know use coins to open more follower sounds if you wanted to uh, you can also control the duration that you want the widget to appear on your live stream and so it's, it's, it's really nice very customizable uh, you also have the ability to test it and if you're actually looking at your OBS and you were to hit that then you should see it pop up on your open broadcast software or exploit if you're using that so very intuitive very nice uh, and what you would do to get this to work in open broadcast software is simply use CLR browser or uh, browser source if you're using OBS multi-platform or XSplit. And then what you would do, you just go back to your home page and you, you highlight the uh, overlay that you want to use and then you can copy the URL and then simply copy it and then paste that into your uh, field in your properties for your CLR browser. It's very simple to do. It's that easy. And once you do that, then what will happen is, and I will bring OBS up here, and let me hide the monitor. Okay, but if I click on my CLR browser, which I tell you what, I'll open up properties just to show you. This is my URL for my overlay. Okay, I've got the size 1920 by 10, 1080. Okay, so then when I go ahead and display it, that's my overlay okay so if I'm playing a game you know anything like that this will lay over the top of it it's very nice very simple now I'll show you how the just like I was saying before the follow alerts if I were to go and uh, go to the follow alerts I can test that and you'll see it pop up so I just hit it it should pop up here in a second Hopefully. there you go so there's your test follow alert. So that was what, what it will look like when somebody follows you. Uh, it's very simple. Now I know I've talked to a lot of guys about doing custom overlays and I don't have the talent to have something to look this nice, okay? I'm sure over time I could look at uh, different tutorials and uh, find out how to use Photoshop to make this or I could you know, somewhat copy it but it won't be to this detail. For guys like me, this is a great solution it's free okay to get basic stuff it's very cheap like ten dollars gets you a thousand and ten coins I think and this overlay here I think was either three or four hundred okay so you know it doesn't cost a lot of money to get you something really nice and customizable that you can use on all your different games so anyway guys go ahead and visit Strex, Strexum that's t s t r e x m dot tv and go ahead and set your account up and do it i mean if you uh, want something that looks like this that works has it's an all-in-one solution uh you can do that uh you know including it here i wanted to show something else too because the dashboard okay is you know you can control your live stream right straight through the dashboard here Okay, it gives you everything that you need for your Twitch stream, which is very nice. So here you can, have, you can change your stream title, you can change the game that you're playing, you can even tweet uh, what you're doing, and you can save presets. 
So you don't have to type. You can just automatically select it and it appears here and then you tweet it and you're good. It's very simple. I, I mean, you can't beat that. You got all your follow alerts here, just like if you were in Moodbot or Nightbot. Okay, you have your uh, chat down here. You have your view that you can preview your video. Uh, it's really nice. You can filter this also by you know what you want to see. If you just want to see followers, they'll just show followers. If you want to see everything, then you have these all green. Very cool to use. I like it a lot, and that's what is what I've been using here lately. So you know, go out and go out there and try this thing out because it really is an all-in-one solution for your live stream. It's simple to use. It gives you that custom look that everybody's looking for, and it's easy. So go out there and check it out. It is uh, Strexum S T R E X M dot TV. Check them out, and if you like this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later.